whole numbers are part of the real number system. Real number system are numbers that exist in the real world. The symbol for whole numbers is an N with a small O. That is to make sure that you know that it starts from zero. And they are whole numbers as in they do not have any decimals or fractions. So it will be zero, one, two, three, four, all the way to positive infinity. That is what whole numbers are. Whole numbers are used mostly for counting and um, in, yeah, in counting purposes. Then we're going to move along to the words called ascending and descending. Ascending is basically when our numbers that are being arranged from the smallest value to the highest value. That's another easier way to remember that is think of a staircase. It's going from the bottom staircase upwards. So if one is down here, then ten can be on top there. So it's ascending, it's going upwards, it's increasing in the values of the numbers. Then if you want to remember how to say descending, descending means you're going down. You're going down. You're going down the staircase. You're going from something bigger to something smaller. So that is descending, going down the stairs. So these are the different types of orders of how you can um, arrange numbers, either from the smallest value to the biggest or the highest or the largest. And then you get from the smallest to the, <laughs> oh no, that's bad, from the largest to the smallest. That's how you would do this. So ascending is going up the staircase, descending is going down the staircase. Next we're going to go to halfway. Halfway basically means that it's in the middle. You are having half of it. It's perfectly in the middle. So if I started from 0 and I went to 10, then my halfway mark would be at 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So my halfway mark would be 5. So half of 10 is 5. The next thing we need to know when we are comparing numbers is the symbol we use to compare them. This symbol here means the greater than. Greater than. This symbol that looks like an L means less than. So that's the important thing to know. It looks like an L, so the less than sign. This is the equal to sign, and these are the three symbols we will be using in the exercise. Right, so now we're going to start our exercise. So we have the numbers 8953, 8574, 8067, 8900, 8909. Those numbers need to be ordered in the ascending order and the descending order. The ascending order means we're going from the smallest number to the biggest number. Remember, we're going up the staircase. So we need to first identify which number is the smallest number available. And we see, can you see these certain semicolons? These semicolons are used to separate the numbers. We do not use commas when we separate numbers because commas mean decimal numbers. When we have semicommas, semicommas mean this is one number, this is the second number, third number, fourth number, fifth number. So from these five numbers, which number is the smallest number? And we found that the smallest number is 8067. Next, the next number after that, which is the second smallest number, is 8574. We write it 8574, then we have 8900, then we have, what do we have? Did I do this right? Yes. Then we have 8909, then we have 8953. Those are my numbers from ascending order. So we were going from something small to something big. That's where we were going. Now we're doing the opposite, we're doing descending order. So we're going from something big to something small. So when I do that, I have to go from the biggest number. Now, because we're already doing it in ascending order, the descending order will be much more easier because it's the opposite of ascending. So we're going to start from the backwards. 8953, then we have 8909, then we have 8900, then we have 8574. And finally, we have 8067. 
So that's how I went in ascending order and descending order. That's all for now. Next, we will do comparing uh, using the symbols less than, greater than, and equal to. Right, now we're going to compare numbers using the symbol greater than and less than and equal to sign. Now remember, the greater than sign looks like this, the less than sign looks like an L, and the equal to signs are two horizontal lines. Now, when another way for you to compare these numbers can be that where you think of the less than and greater than sign as a crocodile's mouth. So usually a crocodile wants to eat the larger prey. So you have to decide which number is the bigger number. On which side would the number be bigger? Now we always start from the left hand side. The number that's bigger, the crocodile's mouth will go towards that number. So 73,051 and 73,021. 73,051 is the bigger number, so therefore the animal or the crocodile will go would want to eat the bigger number. Therefore that one there will have a greater than sign. So if you had to read it from left hand side to right hand side, it would be 73,051 is greater than 73,021. Right, I want you to do the rest of them yourself. I'm giving you 10 seconds. Right, so 94,837 is greater than 94,737. Next, mm. 109,263 is greater than 108,063. Then you have 76,892 and you have 77,692. Now, which one is the bigger number? Now, if you look here, the bigger number is on the right hand side. So the crocodile's mouth is going to face towards the right hand side. So therefore, you can say 76,892 is less than 77,692. The less than sign looks like an L. And then the last one. So the last one. Okay, let me just get the rid of this. It's the less than sign. So then you're going to have the last one. The last one is both exactly the same numbers. So you can have an equal to sign. And that's all you need to know for comparing numbers using the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to.